In the midst of agitations and challenges, the way forward has always been the focus of well-meaning Nigerians. And it is against this backdrop that National Association of Sea Dogs organized this discussion with the theme Towards Building a Great Nation, interrogating the need for true federalism. The chairman of the event talked about the need for federalism at the sideline. And we know that except you restructure Nigeria, uh, this will not go up. So it is really how to do it. This event is to discuss the need for that restructuring but center it on true federalism. And there are so, much, so many things to do uh, about restructuring that uh, the earlier we start to do them bit by bit, the better for us. Speaking further, the panelists argue that what we practice in the country is never federalism, as according to them, there is no half federalism. They, however, called for true federalism as that is the only way out of the various challenges bedeviling the nation. Currently, as we are discussing, we are having an elitist discussion that is not talking about the man that is finding it difficult to have two, three square meals to eat in a week. We are not talking of eating per day now. We are talking of people having two, three square meals to eat in one week. I live in a neighborhood where now nobody is interested in who is in government. Everybody is now saying, oh God, what can we do to get some little money so that I can pay school fees, I can put food on the table. Nigeria as a country could have done much better and can do a hell of a lot better if we really practice federalism. We say true federalism or there is no federalism because we're not practicing it. There is, federalism is federalism. If you look up federalism in the dictionary, it tells you what, what federalism is. Now, is that what is happening in Nigeria? No, that's not what's happening in Nigeria. There is one federalism, and we must practice that uh, federalism. So Nigeria, first from the foundation, we didn't get it right. Now, we always blame the British, but at least they left us with our freedom and our sovereignty. How well have we managed that? I'm afraid we haven't. We started at some point, and even though it was still not a perfect case of real federalism, but there was some semblance of it. If you are to do a map of development in Nigeria, I think that's probably the most aggressive period where we built institutions, where we built the great standards of learning that we currently have. It's, it's, it's unfortunate that you see a graduate of, say, UI in the 50s is a lot better than the graduates today, and it's not supposed to. We don't have a good federal system. We have a flawed federal system. Our federal system can be better. And there's a lot we could do to strengthen the federal system. But I'm afraid there is no one same type of federal system in the world. Uh, federal systems are built on context and certain history. And so, if we have to build our federal system and strengthen our federal system, we have to check our different historical realities and build a model that suits our context. Speaking further, this activist gave recommendations for the country to get it right. We begin to have drafts, appropriate legislations by February 2018 and ensure that executive orders are issued between February and March 2018 to ensure that we have a restructured Nigeria and by May 2018 we do have a brand new legal policy framework as it were that will give us a new Nigeria. A peaceful society no doubt encourages development. It is, however, believed that the recommendations given here will be listened to and acted upon by relevant stakeholders in order to have a Nigeria of our dreams.